If turf grass growth becomes horizontal, the leaves begin to lie in various directions. We call this grain. Oftentimes with grain, the leaves are coarse in nature, contributing to a general roughness to the turf. The impact of grain is most often observed on putting greens. If you are putting with the grain, the ball will tend to roll further or be faster than if you are putting against the grain, which will be a much slower putt. Thus, the greens lack what golfers desire, consistency. Of the cool season turf grasses, creeping bent grass is associated with grain, much more than, for example, poanula. This is due in a large part to the growth habit of the turf grasses. Poanula grows more upright, while creeping bent grass is more prostrate in growth. In this drawing, the difference in growth habit is shown. The sun located represents the season. The lower the setting of the sun in the horizon represents spring and fall, while in the middle, summer is represented by the sun being higher in the sky. For cool season turf grasses, they tend to be more upright during the summer. Bermuda grass greens, including the ultra dwarf varieties, frequently develop grain. The grainy patches often develop which is in contrasted here between the green areas and the lighter green patches. It appears to me that the plants in these grainy areas often have a swirling or twisting type of look. How these patches or areas form may be due to several factors, and in the case of Bermuda grass, may include genetic mutations. The severity of grain that can occur in Bermuda grass greens can be observed in this photograph. In this case, the cups have been changed and replugged from various hole locations in grainy areas. Notice the plug the plants are growing in a different direction than the area surrounding the cup. Oftentimes on Bermuda grass greens, the person changing the cup will try to line the plug's growth with that of the surrounding area, or take a plug from a similar patch or area, which was done here. The mechanical practices to remove grain and improve texture are listed here. In general, the goal is to get the turf grass plants to grow vertically or upright, thus removing grain and improving density and texture of the turf. Mowing height, frequency, and direction help remove grain and improve leaf texture. Lower mowing heights tend to increase density, resulting in a finer texture and reduced grain. Frequently changing the direction of mowing can help remove grain by forcing the turf plant to grow more upright versus mowing the same direction, resulting in the plant's laying in one direction. Changing the mowing direction daily is a common practice. In this case, this chart tells the people mowing greens what direction they will be mowing for the day. As a side note on fairways, where changing the mowing direction is more restricted, a circular mowing pattern is occasionally done to help remove grain. Where I have seen the circular mowing pattern most commonly done is a week or so before a golf tournament to help remove some of the grain prior to burning in the mowing pattern during the week of the tournament. This practice is most common on Bermuda grass. Grooved rollers tend to stand the plant up prior to being cut by the mowing unit, especially compared to solid rollers. Verticutting is a common practice to remove grain and provide a finer texture. The turning of the blades are set in contact or slightly below the soil surface to cut stolons. The cutting of stolons helps remove some of the lateral growth and also stimulate new leaf appearance on the buds adjacent to the cut stolen. The red line represents a blade, or in this case the blue line, a blade cutting the stolen, stimulating new shoots at the buds, resulting in increased turf density. Verticutting can also be done to help remove organic matter from the green. Aggressively verticutting is common on Bermuda grass Grooming is similar to verticutting, except the blades are spaced much more closely 
and set at or slightly above the cutting height. This helps remove some of the leaf tissue, hopefully the more coarse textured leaves. Brushing is a common practice to get the turf plants to stand more upright prior to cut. Again, the operation removes grain and helps remove some of the coarser leaf blades. There are various types of brushing units, but the ones that are mounted right behind the uh, cutting unit is probably the most common and less damaging to the turf and, can, and thus can be used more frequently. Top dressing also helps remove grain by forcing the plants to grow more upright through the top dressing layer. How aggressive should you be in removing grain and improving texture? Depending on how much grain or coarseness is present, I prefer a gradual, continual process. If removal of grain or coarseness is too aggressive, damage to the turf may occur. In some cases, small spots or bare areas may appear if the tissue is removed too quickly. 